M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So we're looking at the U5 Link USB interface for digital modes for the Yaesu FT818, 857, that kind of radio, the older radios. And so I thought I'd show you, it's a really simple connection and I think, I feel like it works well. So first thing you do, you get a box full of cables and I'm just gonna quickly show you them connected because it's a lot simpler than when you just see them all in the box. So you've got speaker, microphone. Now underneath where it says speaker, microphone, it's green and yellow and then you've got the USB cable here it looks like a printer cable so all you do is plug these two into this adapter here and the colors you can buy these on on um, eBay Amazon it's a USB adapter and guess what the colors are green and yellow so once you've done that then you connect the USB into your laptop nice and easy then at the back you've got two cables coming out one is a data and cat and then look and then all you do is do exactly the same thing at the back of the 857, 818, 817, all those radios. So look, the flat, one in the flat bit here, look, I've cut it a bit because it wouldn't fit great. It goes on the left, so that's your data. And then the cat cable is on your right. And the cat controls is the one that makes your radio transmit and change bands. The data is what's feeding the audio uh, to your, you know, to, to make everything work. And of course, so... So are these. If I got that slightly wrong, it doesn't don't worry because it's all working. So look, as you can see, and if I put the radio into enable TX like so, it will automatically start to transmit and I can even change bands. So let's just on the software, we're gonna just change the bands a bit. So we're on 40, let's do 80. There you, go, you can see it changing changing nicely and we can select all kinds of stuff. Now let's just show it on the software. So the software, when I change bands, I just select here on the left, like so, so 40, enable TX just here. It will start to TX now the settings, file, settings. So audio, you can see that there, I've selected USB PNP sound device or input microphone output speakers Apparently you can this enables you to use your your chirp as well without having to get the, another you know use your normal USB cable that you might want to buy so any anyway, radio settings 818 Then it says data bits 82 Left that default cat for cat control None, none, and look, it goes green. If you've got it right, it will go green, and then you can test the PTT there, look, and test the cat. Uh, so you've got audio, radio, and then general, that's the easiest one. Just get your call sign in there and your location, and it just works. And I've had some contacts earlier. So there are some tweaks you can do to the power here, and on your radio, you do want to sort of hold down the F button. Oh yeah, I should have said on the on the software, you want to select board rate 38400. Turn this to number 14. And look, you've got cat rate. Then to 26, digi mode U. 27, digi shift. And I think you're, I think, I think once you've done that, oh, digi mode. So the mode here, up and down till it says digi on the front here. Come out of that. You can then just push the F briefly and scroll this one and look, we want power. So we get our power nice and high, six watts. And then in the middle, you can select your, your ALC meter to make sure the ALC isn't too high when it's in TX. Bye for now. And now if you're interested, that is my ATU100 tuner, which is flat at the moment, but it is set. Even when it's off, it does seem to work once I've used, once I've tuned. this. This device here, if you do unplug it, I'll just show you off from the USB on your PC and then plug it back in. Which I'll just do now, you hear it go into error there. It does beep a few times. See that? Don't be too worried, that's the norm. So bye for now, and that's how you connect your U5 Link USB adapter for digital modes and possibly chirp. 7.3.